Now to what the Obama administration is calling a dangerous intercept and a very close call involving an American surveillance plane and a Chinese fighter jet. It happened earlier this week in international airspace off China's southeastern coast. Margaret Brennan has more. This armed Chinese fighter jet came within 20 feet of a U.S. Navy P-8 Poseidon aircraft on Tuesday. So close, the pilots could see each other. They just narrowly avoided colliding. The Pentagon said despite being in international airspace over the South China Sea, the Chinese J-11 fighter jet made five dangerous and aggressive passes. First, the jet flew under the slow-moving U.S. plane. Then it flashed past the nose of the aircraft at a 90-degree angle. The Pentagon said the jet exposed its belly to the U.S. plane to make a point of showing its weapons. The jet then went back under the P-8 before coming alongside the plane. Flying wingtip to wingtip, the two aircraft were just 20 feet apart. Then the Chinese fighter pilot performed a barrel roll over the U.S. plane at close range, passing within 45 feet. The risky incident is the latest in a series of close encounters between the two countries, which are trying to assert their military might in the South China Sea. Similar flybys happened in March, April and May, all conducted by the same unit of the Chinese Air Force based on Hainan Island. But Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said this week's incident was the most aggressive. The message we're sending back to China is that's unacceptable and, and unhelpful to the military relationship that we would like to have with them. The Obama administration said it has strong concerns that this incident is a violation of international law. Pentagon and State Department officials registered formal diplomatic complaints. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Margaret Brennan, The Pentagon.